Just reopening. There's still stress mounting for parents in the pandemic. We've talked a lot about our children and their stress and their anxiety, but we haven't really discussed the stressors for parents. So today I'm joined by parenting expert and author of How to Have a Kid and a Life, a Survival Guide, Erica Suter. So thank you for joining me. So happy to be here. Yes. Okay. So let's begin. Um, Erica, I actually have to be honest with you. When I saw the email come down that we were going to have you on, I laughed out loud to myself. <laughs> Not because the email was funny in nature or to be disrespectful, but I thought, how can I do an interview where I'm talking about myself <laughs> for most <laughs> of it, right? I know I have, you know, parents, uh, uh, f friends who are parents as well, and we are just met with some of the most difficult uh, parenting dilemmas that I don't don't think any generation, living generation anyway, has really had to deal with. So you actually have a mommy burnout test, but dads can take it as well. Can you walk us through that? Yeah, you know, parenting is hard in normal times. Now it is so stressful and so overwhelming. So I wanted to address this issue in the book. We're living through an unprecedented time. So I want parents to take what I call the mommy burnout litmus test. But yes, any parent can take it. Actually, any person can take it to find out what they need to change to be more happy and calm. The first question you should ask yourself, am I nurturing my marriage or my partnership? Is my career headed in a good direction? Uh, do I have supportive friends to turn to? And supportive is the key word, right? And do I nurture any of the passions I had before kids? And the last thing I want you to ask yourself is, have I created an outlet or a social life that has nothing to do with my children? And if you answered no to any of those questions, it's time to reprioritize. And by that, I mean prioritize yourself. Okay, and so what does that look like in a pandemic? I think a lot of um, people, especially moms, dads, especially when they're working from home, you know, there's no boundary between work life and home life. There's no boundary right. between school life and home life for a lot of families. Family. So what does that look like? Do you have suggestions? Oh, absolutely. The first thing you have to remember is that if you are depleted, burned out and stressed, your kids feel that and know that. And it's likely that you're not being the parent or partner you really want to be. So it's time to kind of focus on your needs, put yourself back on top of your to-do list. So in a pandemic or in the way where the world is right now, what does that look like? It is finding things that you love to do and doing them with consistency. That doesn't mean taking like a five day fishing trip. We can't do that right <laughs> now, but it does mean setting aside 20 minutes, 30 minutes a day to do something you love. I talked to moms who got back into yoga, running, having a power walk with a neighbor, talking on the phone with their girlfriends, either in a group chat or on a Zoom call for 20 minutes every night. It's something that you can look forward to to help you decompress, to focus on something other than the stresses that we're all experiencing right now. Mm -hmm. And w let's go back to the first one that was about nurturing a relationship. Mm -hmm. um, I know for a lot of families, there have been adjustments during the pandemic from what that family dynamic looks like, right? We've been seeing divorces, right. unfortunately, that sort of thing. Um, so what do you see suggest to moms that are maybe single or newly single dads who are single newly single who are navigating this new sort of relationship with their children because things have changed during the pandemic right. Well, I have a whole chapter on single parenthood so I'm so glad that you asked this because when I talk to a lot of single parents they feel that they don't have time to date or they don't really deserve to date because their main focus should be their child but if you're if you're craving a relationship, you deserve a relationship and you should have one. So one of the things that you can do is put yourself out there. It is okay to go out there and date and find someone or make connections with other people, but you do have to put yourself out there. There's always this hesitancy of making that first move, but I can guarantee you if you're craving the intimacy in the relationship, a lot of other people are too. So you have to give yourself permission to take time away from work and kids and homeschooling or whatever it is you have going on to nurture 
a new relationship or create ways where you can have a relationship. And one last question too, because we absolutely have to address it, that while our schools here, our districts are back to in-person learning, um, but a lot of parents have opted out of that for, you know, they have their reasonings. But so that means that kids are still at home. They're still learning at home right now and parents are still having to juggle that dynamic. Um, so how, what, what do you suggest for parents who are now homeschool teachers? You really have to rely on on all the resources you have. So if you have neighbors, family members, friends who are willing to kind of step in to help you, this is the time to ask and don't be shy about asking because you've created this village for yourself, which I hope you've created a village for yourself. That's incredibly important. You have to lean on them to get through something like this. If you're keeping your kids home for safety reasons, you or, or you know you feel that you're, you just feel more comfortable than being at home, stick to that choice, but didn't also create the surroundings that make it easier for all of you. Thank you so much um, for your time. Um, so Erica Suter, she's joining us uh, this morning and she is the author of How to Have a Kid and a Life, a Survival Guide. So thank you for joining us so much for this mommy burnout litmus test, which I aced with flying colors. <laughs>